What's up, basketball fans? Welcome into NBA Now from Chat Sports. I'm your host, Jimmy Crowther, and on yesterday's show, I broke down some of my own trade ideas, including one that sent Ben Simmons to the Cleveland Cavaliers. But you guys gave me a lot of hate in the comment section for that one. So what I decided to do today is break down your trade ideas. So on my last video, in a recent video, I asked you to put hashtag trade in the comment section and send me your ideas. And now I'm bringing them up on today's show. If you want to get on the next trade mailbag, scroll down to the comment section, use hashtag trade, and I'll put you on the next show. Now let's start with this first trade idea from Uncle Drew. No, not Kyrie Irving, although I hear he's a loyal watcher of chat sports. I don't know. Rumor has it. And he says, Andrew Wiggins and Kevon Looney and the Golden State Warriors 2020 first round pick for Miles Turner and TJ Warren of the Indiana Pacers. It's an interesting trade idea, and I wanted to bring it up on this show because in all honesty, I don't hate it for either side. The Pacers get a young wing in Andrew Wiggins, but they also have to take on that terrible contract that he has. So in return for that terrible contract, they get a potential top five pick in, in this year's draft. And then the Golden State Warriors finally get their big man in Miles Turner and TJ Warren, who's been basically the bubble MVP. Now, TJ Warren isn't doing in the regular season what he's doing in the bubble on a regular basis, but if he can... I think the Warriors come out as winners of this trade. So let's talk about the Golden State Warriors and what they would look like here. You still got the Splash Bros in the backcourt. They are nice and healthy now. Steph Curry's back. Klay Thompson's been fully cleared to practice with the team. And then you throw in TJ Warren, who's giving you 20 points per game. You still got Draymond Green. And now you've got a legitimate NBA center in Miles Turner. Now, of course, your bench gets a little bit weaker. You don't have Andrew Wiggins. And you also lose a top five pick. But that means the Pacers gain a top five pick. If the Pacers get a top five pick and Andrew Wiggins, they can stay young while continuing to stay competitive and keeping Victor Oladipo interested in staying in Indiana. So now you, now you got Malcolm Brogdon and a hopefully healthy Victor Oladipo, along with Andrew Wiggins, who can still grow into a solid third option. DeMontis Sabonis plays the center position full time, and I think you go out and draft a new power forward like Ovi Toppin in that top five with the Warriors pick. So this is a very interesting trade idea. Shout out to Uncle Drew for sending it to us in the comment section and so I want to know from you guys because I'm not sure who says no I genuinely had to wrestle back and forth and say which would I rather have so I want you guys to let me know would you rather have Miles Turner and TJ Warren or would you rather have Andrew Wiggins and a top five pick in this year's draft type T if you want Miles Turner and TJ Warren type W if you'd rather have Wiggins and that top five pick in the comment section now remember that top five pick isn't that great in this year's draft because the top five isn't super strong, but you still get that plus Andrew Wiggins. So let me know in the comment section, W or T. Now, one thing that we all love right now are these awesome NBA player shirts. Everybody in the chat sports office has got one. They just ordered them from Fanatics. And the way you can get one, too, is by going to chatsports.com slash NBA shirt singular chatsports.com slash NBA shirt you can get your favorite player and your favorite team on the back of your uh, on the back of your t-shirt get that logo right on the front big and bold on the chest go to chatsports.com slash NBA shirt they're shipping for free for a limited time only so go check them out today at fanatics let's keep it rolling with our trade mailbag here and this one coming from a name in which I cannot pronounce but I appreciate you being a loyal watcher and I appreciate you commenting on our videos he sent me this one and I want to break it down a little bit more Hashtag trade. Of course, that's the hashtag you got to use in the comment section. I don't make the rules. Steven Adams, Dennis Schroeder, and a 2020 first-round pick from the Oklahoma City Thunder to the Golden State Warriors for their first-round pick, which, again, is going to be a top-five pick in this year's draft. Now, the money there does not work, so I had to alter this one just a little bit to actually make his trade idea work, and you got to throw Andrew Wiggins in here, and I think this also entices the Thunder to do it a little bit more. So the Warriors, in this case, get Steven Adams. Again, they get their big man because they don't have a true center right now. They get Dennis Schroeder, who, in my opinion, is sixth man of the year. And they get Oklahoma City's first-round pick from the Denver Nuggets, which will fall in the later first round. The Thunder, meanwhile, get a young wing in Andrew Wiggins, and they get a top-five pick. Now, if they get that top five pick, these are the five guys that I believe will be considered as top five prospects in this year's draft. LaMelo Ball, everyone loves him, but the, the Thunder really don't need him because they got a great backcourt already. Anthony Edwards, but I don't, I'm, I'm going to act like this pick doesn't fall high enough in the top five to get Anthony Edwards. 
James Wiseman of Memphis only played in three games, but had an outstanding three games. Bit of a project, but could replace Steven Adams. And then Ovi Toppin and Denny Avdia. So I'm going to say this pick falls right around pick number three. And, the, and Steven Adams is no longer a member of the Thunder because they shipped him off to Golden State. So this is what their starting five looks like. And it's still young, and it's still fun, and it still lets you win right now. You got CP3 and SGA in the backcourt. Andrew Wiggins becomes your new starter at the forward, which they've been looking for a true starter there besides Lugans Dort. And then James Wiseman in the middle, who's a bit of a project, as I mentioned, and Danilo Gallinari as a legitimate scoring power forward. That's a fun lineup, and it could get the Thunder to say yes to this. Now, the Thunder trading their Denver pick to the Warriors means they're picking between probably 20 to that 25 range, and there's still some really solid names in the draft from 20 to 25. You got Kira Lewis Jr. out of Alabama. You got Jemias Ramsey out of Texas Tech, a guy who I think a lot of people are sleeping on right now. Isaiah Stewart, a true big man that can come in and play with his back to the basket. Josh Green, a freak athlete, great defensive player out of, out of Arizona. And one of the international prospects from Serbia, Alexei Pokazevsky. Now, I've been trying to work on his name. I probably just butchered it. If any of you Serbian watchers are watching, let me know if I got it right. But the Warriors from this trade could look something like this. I think they go Steph Curry and Dennis Schroeder in the backcourt. I don't think you bring Schroeder off the bench. You just move Klay Thompson to the three and allow Schroeder to start alongside Steph. And then you got Draymond Green, and now you got Steven Adams as a legitimate big man in the middle. Here in this deal, I, I don't think the Warriors say yes. I think that top five pick is way too valuable right now. You also don't know what you're going to get. And that first round pick from Denver going to fall into the late 20s. I don't think o Golden State says yes, but I also think Oklahoma City wouldn't want to give up their franchise center in Steven Adams or a sixth man of the year in Dennis Schroeder. So this could be a trade in which both teams say no, but what do you say? Who says no, the OKC Thunder or the Golden State Warriors? Let me know in the comment section down below. And with the draft picks that we're talking about, first comes the NBA Draft Lottery. And it is coming up just next week, Thursday, August 20th and what you want to do right now is hit that subscribe button and get your notifications on because I'm going live with my buddy Harrison Graham and we're going to break down the entire draft lottery tell you who gets that number one pick play by play pick by pick we're going to have it all for you right here on chat sports but if you're not subscribed you're going to miss it so make sure you hit that big red subscribe button now let's go to this one last trade this one's coming from Arters I think that's how you pronounce your name I'm doing my best here he says this trade is for the upcoming season. Dallas gets Jalen Brown, while the Boston Celtics get Seth Curry, DeLon Wright, Justin Jackson, the Mavs 2021 second round pick, and the Mavs 2022 second round pick. Now, sorry, Archers, but Boston says hell no to that trade. And also, DeLon Wright, Seth Curry, ja Justin Jackson, the money doesn't work there. So I had to tinker with it a little bit. I had to make this my own. Now, I still kept the core intact where it's Seth Curry to the Celtics and Jalen Brown to the Dallas Mavericks. But to make the money work and to make the Boston Celtics at least somewhat interested, I had to throw Dorian Finney-Smith in there. Now, Dorian Finney-Smith has become a fan favorite of Dallas Mavericks fans everywhere. I know they don't want him gone, but the Celtics aren't going to say yes to just Seth Curry and washed up Justin Jackson. So I also threw in that 2020 first round pick that they have this year the 2020 second round pick from the Golden State Warriors, and their 2021 second round pick. And I know it's a lot for the Mavs to give up, but Jalen Brown has become a true star in a Boston uniform. He's averaging 20 points per game, six rebounds, two assists, shooting better than 38% from three, and he's one of the best defensive wings in the NBA today. And we all know the Dallas Mavericks need defense on the wings right now. So here's a question, because I think Jalen Brown fits the bill absolutely perfectly. Who would be the perfect third star next to Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis? Obviously, you got names like Giannis and Kawhi. We know that. But let's be realistic here. Maybe a Jalen Brown is the answer. Maybe Victor Oladipo of the Indiana Pacers. Maybe Bradley Beal of the Washington Wizards. All those guys fit exactly what the Mavericks need next to Luka and KP. And if they can go out and get them, this starting five, just takes on a whole new dynamic. You get Luka and you keep THJ in the backcourt with him because he's been outstanding for the Mavericks. But now you've got a guy who can guard elite twos and elite threes in the league in Jalen Brown. You insert Maxi Kleba into the starting five with KP still at that center position. And this team has three guys that can give you 20 plus points per game 
every single night, along with the guy who's putting up 16 points per game in Tim Hardaway Jr. Now, the Celtics look a little different, and this is why I believe the Celtics say no. You've got Kimba, then you put Gordon Hayward in there next to him, Dorian Finney-Smith, your new starting forward, along with Jason Tatum, and Daniel Tice there in the middle as well. That means Seth Curry's coming off the bench, and whoever they draft becomes more of an off-the-bench asset as well. Listen, I love Jalen Brown, and I love Dorian Finney-Smith, but the Boston Celtics say no here. The Mavericks don't have the firepower to trade for him, and I'm not even sure the Mavs want to give up Seth Curry and Dorian Finney-Smith because those contracts are very, very valuable to the Dallas Mavericks right now. Now, guys, I love breaking down all your trade ideas. I love talking to you every single day. Even when you hate on my trade ideas, I understand. So if you want to get on the next show, use hashtag trade in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, give this video a like, and I'll see you next time.